good Sunday morning to you. Thank you, Mrs. H. Yet again, beautiful. Right, yeah. Welcome to uh, uh, excuse me. Welcome to Sunday and to my shave den. Um, we need a good shave. I must remember this is oof, was easy. First couple of shaves can be a bit dodgy. You forget maybe, but or maybe you don't. It's just me. Um, right, quite a special one. This. It's an anniversary shave to a Phoenix shaving. They've, uh, this year, 2022, is their 10th anniversary in business. And they've released Artifact, their new Bakelite razor in this beautiful case. So, if I can get it out. There we go. And that's the case, isn't that beautiful? That? That's made of vegan leather. Smells of leather. And it's uh, really well made. So I'll just show you the inside carefully. Don't drop anything in the water. Look at that. That's a bit like a blue velvet. Uh, it reminds me a bit of the, um, the old Gillette cases similar thing um, a decade of difference this here that's a protection piece that is a, my, a little cloth polishing cloth in there so we can see i don't open it but it's, it's in there a little polishing cloth with a nice touch it's it acts uh, this can act as a travel case you see so that's that and then there's a little certificate there, 10 years of trading. Put these one side, there's one of these sort of good, isn't it? Little sticker, artifact. And then three packs of the platinum blades. Um, I've got one here because the, the, the strangelet Platinum Strangely. So we'll use one of them. I'll make it a Phoenix shave today for you. Your anniversary, we'll dedicate it to you. So, so uh, happy anniversary, Doug and uh, Fran. Now, I do believe Fran was months and months in planning and making this and designing it. And uh, job well done, I'd say. Well done, Fran, in the, in the case there. And look at this. This is their new Bakelite. Three piece, non adjustable razor. So the handle's made of butterscotch. The bottom plate or base plate here, that is made of bakelite tortoise shell. And no one is the same. So each razor will have a unique sort of twist to it. That's lovely. That's the bakelite. And this is made. It's brass, it's a brass head cap, and it's 24 karat gold plated. Stunning. So have to be careful with that. So, I'll just get the blade off, ready? Because I was thinking, what shall I use for the, well, I thought I may as well use the Phoenix shaves, or always good stuff, good products. So we'll use one of the blades, a new one. Double wrapped, fantastic. Always means there's some care going into the transportation of the blade. So we'll place that on top of the head, like so. Bakelite is um, Doug's favorite um, type of razor. The, look at this, that's, that's, that's a nice touch. Quite solid. Yeah, he's a big fan of big life razors. So that's what's uh, beautiful. If Del Boy from Only Fools and Horses had a razor, that would be it. <laughs> so uh, that's that. I'm going to use, where's the soap here? Some of this Phoenix Shave Chaser. And this is uh, their homage, a homage to Skin Bracer, an old iconic classic 
uh, in America. This is the CK6 formula. Beautiful, and it's spot on. I have got skin bracer uh, in there. The um, Oh, it's lovely. So I put that in a fine bowl because we need a bit of room. We're using this. This is the um, Phoenix Shaving Phantom Aerolite uh, Spectral Synthetic Knot. Um, it's a 26 millimeter. Beautiful, so it's quite a big, big knot. So we'll start lathering up. And uh, start to say, how is your weekend going? Very well, I hope. And you're in good health. Yeah, it's lovely. It's a sort of a grey coloured knot with a black tip. With black tips. So. Again, use about a thumbnail of um, of the soap, of the crope. Soap in this case. Uh, quite a soft soap. And uh, as you can see, a wet brush, about three flicks. So it is wet, but it's not dripping. And we come very quickly to this stage. Oh, and it's, if you like the old classics, Maybe a few, well, I don't know, a few British shavers. If you've been shaving this way for a while, you probably have skin bracer or even this. Um, but in America, they'll know straight away what this was. An old classic. That's really nice now. Look at that. That's good. Good stuff. So we'll wet the face. We'll remember what we're doing. I'm also going to use a, the cube and go with the whole hog, as we say, but uh, uh, no need, I don't think, for that. It's, uh, it'll be good enough. Lovely soft brush. Very, very soft. Like a pli like a plissoft. Plissoft, I said. It's um yeah, it's lovely, lovely, so easy to lather, lovely scent. The old uh, that's one thing I will say, you do good um homages to because the cold spice is the old spice homage. Oh, really nice. Okay, so we're going to heat up the artifact three piece bake light tortoise shell bake light tortoise shell and brass with 24 carat coated head head heavy and the new uh, stranger blade. So here we go, first pass on this 10th anniversary shave. I know a few people tried. I I like these blades. Um, I know a few shavers tried the blades, didn't like them, and uh, I don't know what made them. They went back to it, and they seem to like it in another razor or a different type of razor. So. Sometimes that can happen. But blades are strange things. As I said before, you know, it's, uh, let's do this first before I forget. So that what works for me wouldn't necessarily work for you and vice versa. So what's your shave of the day, please? And meal. And drink. I 
But it is a nice blade though. There's a... How would I put it? For me personally, there's a, a bite to it. It's um, not feather, but it's, it's got, you can feel it there, a good bite, but it's smooth um, and efficient. And that's just on the first pass, so we'll feel that blade more now. Um, the aggression on the razor, um, I wouldn't say it's aggressive. Uh, I'd say it's a mid aggression, um, but we'll tell better on the second and third pass because we're closer to the skin. Good slickness. I'm glad I remembered that. We had, um, when was it? Friday. Friday morning. Ooh, just, just on freezing. Just mm, here, it was sort of a degree above, so it didn't quite freeze, but you could feel that bite. And that's the first, uh, the first frost we've had of, of autumn. That tells me then winter is sort of uh, has arrived and it's sort of well we don't know what it'll do are we gonna have snow are we gonna have just rain very cold we you never know do you the, the weather and the season seem to be strange don't they they're changing and things but uh, so here we go cross the growth now so first pass was lovely cross the, oh overhang Slight overhang. To be careful. Of. Yeah, so it's a, with this blade, this razor, for me, that would be a mid aggression, just in the middle. As I say, with that little bite from the razor, so. Ten years, eh? Whew. I remember them starting. Lucky now as shavers, we get a lot of good artisan soap makers, razor makers, brush makers, all sorts of things. Anything shaving related and a good choice of um, scents and different things. Really nice. This is coming better now, it's uh, more visible on there. If it looks a bit odd, sometimes it looks here, just a bit slower growing, that's all. But uh, once it gets going, there'll be no stopping it. And then there'll be time to shave it off. Really nice soap. Like uh, many brushes, it's very, very soft, but yet it's capable. I know this is a soft soap, but it's very capable and very quick of creating a lather. It's a big knot. Um, I would say it's a big knot for me. 26, anything, but 26 and above, I'd class as a big knot, personally. But um, some of them can hog, as we call it, or keep the, you create a lather, and it tends to keep it, especially the bores, but um, four brushes. Synthetics are very good. Seem to create it, hold it, and dispatch it on the face, you know, disperse it. But um, yeah, no problems with that. Against the growth, no? Against the growth, here we go. It feels, there's no sort of, there's no uh, knurling on this. It's a smooth handle, that's the edge, very rounded. Um, no issues, as you can see, I'm not slipping or sliding. If 
you think that would be an issue you can do as many people do rub wet hands on an alum and that'll grip or do as I do and just keep it rinsed as long as there's no soap on there you're okay if it's wet you've got to be careful but it's still okay for me A lot of times it's common sense, isn't it? Mm. It's a nice shave. I must admit, I like the bake lights as well, some some of the vintages, and I like the uh, the Merca 45 bake light, that's the red and black. Um, so this will be a very unique razor. Sort of a special edition, isn't it? Um, so we'll go well on the collection. Collection. Very efficient, lovely. Very slick soap, but I know the soap's going to be good anyway because of their formulas. Always good. That is nice. Straight there, yeah. You know what we're ready for now? Go on then, help me out. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely slickness, yeah. Not an overpowering scent in strength. Um, in this particular shave, I would say, like this now, it's a four, something like that, out of ten. Very nice. Here we go. Right to that edge. Wow, smooth. Just a touch there. That will do us. Wow, cold water rinse. Why am I what I'm having? I'll tell you now. For dinner. The last few weeks we've been out and about, jaunting about. Um, done a lot of filming as well, you know, but um, oh. but this week we're home and I'm doing some something different, well not different, the way I'm, what I'm using is different. I'm doing uh, pork steaks, well nothing new there, roasted, and I'm doing roast potatoes, so I parboil the potatoes, half boil them 10-15 minutes, depending on the size. And then um, 
once they're half boiled, I've got in the oven beef dripping. I don't know if I've said this, but uh, I usually use duck fat, goose fat. Beautiful, but beef dripping, if you've never tried it. Um, in the UK, you can buy it in Tesco's called Britannia. Blue thing by the lard and the butter. Uh, or any supermarket probably. But um, it's uh, just in case I'll cut the block in a bit in a roasting tin and heat it, let it go hot. Don't leave and forget it. Hot, like a centimetre. <laughs> and then quickly put them out and safely put your potatoes in and sizzle and then sort of roll them round or cover them with a beef dripping straight back in the oven and leave them until they're golden brown. Maybe turn them once, halfway. Golden brown, bring them out, drain them on some paper, kitchen towel and salt and they're just crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside and what we're having that so it's pork steaks roast potatoes only i've gone the long way around of saying <laughs> roast potatoes and then um, green beans broccoli stems and uh, gravy lashentos of gravy get on with it Paul. lashentos of citrus witch hazel by Humphreys. No relation, sadly. That's lovely. So that's a nice freshness now. And of course we'll have the matching aftershave cologne, shave chaser. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, spot on. Come on, come on. Spot on. Oh, my dad would love that. If you've never had skin bracer or shave chaser, God, I think you're going to help me, you say. It's down the line of brute, that type. If you like brute, you'd love this. Bam. Viewer sent me that. Very kind. Well, if you're watching, sir, thank you. I still use it now and again. And um, really enjoy and look after it. There is a bit of menthol in that aftershave, I think. I think, um, I'm not sure if he does versions of non mentholated now. You have to check, uh, I'll put a link below. Um, it's stunning, really nice this. Because you can re you can use this, you don't have to put the um, that razor back in. If you're traveling, an idea maybe, you can put your blades up here, there's three packs there, comes with three packs. You can put whatever razor, as long as it fits in there, and go traveling, really nice. So, happy anniversary. Doug and Fran, Phoenix Shaving, thank you so much. Um, and good luck in the future, yeah. So what have we used? Well, we've used uh, the Shave Chaser, Phoenix Shave Chaser uh, Shaving Soap, homage or homage to Skin Bracer, beautiful. We've used a brand new string, it's a Platinum Strange Lift Blade, it's their own blade. Um, has a sharpness to it, an edge, Pardon the pun. Uh, I like it, it works well for me, and it worked nicely in this, which is the Artifact three piece non adjustable bake light butterscotch handle, tortoiseshell bottom plate, and brass with 24 karat gold plated head in celebration for their 10th anniversary in business. And it worked well. It's a, an open comb, as you can see there. But it was a medium aggression for me with that blade, just with the edge of that sharpness on the blade, which I feel. We've used the um, Phoenix Shaving, I always get this uh, Aerolite, isn't it? Phantom Aerolite, 26 millimeter, lovely brush, big knot. Um, very soft, as I say, but it, like all synthetics, really, it's good at lathering up and it's good at dishing it out. Uh, so that's nice. Fine lather ball. Welsh water to rinse. Thanks, Paul. 
and team Humphreys Citrus Witch Hazel, the matching uh, Shave Chaser Aftershave Cologne, and then the Brute Aftershave Balm. And what can you say? I nearly overdid it there, but I haven't. It's not to, to go any further. So have a great weekend. If you haven't a shave, have a good one. Um, whatever, yeah, whatever you're doing, stay safe. And uh, thank you so much for your support again and for viewing this to give me the time of day and for your comments. And hopefully, um, as I'm cooking, I'll look at the comments and hopefully reply to them. I like to reply, you know. It's, but uh, sometimes, you know, these go out and I'm, we're off for the day. So when it's important to spend time with families as well. So, uh, yeah, it's nice. So all the best to you. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Bye-bye.